BuddyBase streamlines the creation of data-driven applications, allowing our users to be able to make better decisions by having visibility of data rather than that data being siloed and lost in databases. Your users will expect that the applications that you create for them will have the same design aesthetic they've come to appreciate throughout the web. BuddyBase aims to allow universal styling concepts like spacing and grouping of elements, simple color palettes and consistent themes, the default choice for everything that you create. Let's look at some of the ways that you can bring your own style to your applications. On the left hand side, we have this theme icon. This gives us some fundamental choices we can make throughout our application. We can set the theme from really light to really dark and a few in between. We can decide on how our buttons look, how round they are. They can be really rectangular or they could be really rounded. And then we have the accent color and hover. This is what will appear on a button. So accent and on hover, you can see the color change is slight there, but you could change that color Make the accent orange maybe, so it goes from pink to orange. Choosing to have single accent colors throughout and a single theme throughout allows our applications to feel consistent across the different blocks and components that you use to build up your app. Each component and block has a styles tab and this styles tab will normally always have margins, the ability to space above and below. These are generally in multiples of four which is pretty consistent with design systems, allowing you to create things that are generally pretty good looking out of the box. Every component also has an edit custom CSS, which takes CSS and applies it to the selected component. It's not a class, it's just the key value pairs that you'd expect to be in a class, and they'll be applied to the component that you're interacting with. If I wanted to add another button, to this page and style it like this create row button. Well, I want it to go to the right hand side. And one way I could do is I could put a whole load of left margin on there just to push it over. But obviously as the screen size changes, that's going to be less helpful. The container component is really helpful to apply stylings of this kind. I'm gonna bring this button inside of this container and now through the container, I have all of these orientation and alignment options. I can bring it to the middle, to the left, as I align horizontally. So there's another button inside of here. Then I could opt to have those horizontally based rather than vertically. You can also determine if I want them to be wrapped or what the gap is between each of them. I can do it with this popover when I have the container selected or I can use the menu on the right hand side here to be able to have more visibility of what's happening. Equally, we've got more styles where we can set the background and borders of particular containers, and we can add that custom CSS as well. Finally, as we're styling all of our application, we have the ability to use these responsive buttons at the top here, which allow us to get some idea of how our application is going to change as we use different screen sizes. So desktop, tablet, and mobile device, we can get an idea of what things are going to look like. So by using simple, consistent themes throughout our application, orienting components using margins and adding custom CSS, and using the container block alongside the responsive design icons, you can design applications that look great, as well as allowing your colleagues to be able to do their jobs more effectively and more productively.